Hello everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be building, reviewing, and placing the new LEGO Creator Ford Mustang, which is official LEGO set 10265 and consists of 1,471 pieces. <laughs> So there we have the Lego Creator Ford Mustang built and looking pretty awesome. I knew I was going to get this set. It was just a matter of when. And then Lego decided to uh, issue a double points promotion. So sort of forced my hand a bit to go uh, to the Lego store and pick this up. But you can see it is a beautiful set. Everything sort of just comes together and, and stays together so seamlessly. Uh, one of the new building techniques used in this set is the door build. It's different than any of the other LEGO creator sets. So in the inside here, sort of on the door hinge, they use, I think, four different hinge pieces to make it glide so smoothly and then shut so that it just sits there and you can't even tell that there is a moving door piece there. It's, it's just absolutely beautiful. So satisfying to see how well that comes together and of course another moving part here is the hood so you can open it up and see what is underneath the hood on the top of the hood here we have the hood scoop for uh, the air intake and that'll just open right up to reveal what's inside so you can see the motor head here uh, a couple different tubes right down in here they use some of those rubber band elastic pieces to uh, indicate timing belts and then right here on the left side, I really like this, the use of those Technic pins in black and red to show uh, battery. So you got your positive and your negative. Then there's uh, the use of a couple different sticker pieces in here and also a Ford Mustang print piece right there. So under the hood, is uh, this thing is really impressive. There's a lot of uh, finite details that went into this set. Right here on the front, you can see the yellow license plate. That is a sticker piece. The GT1967 uh, license plate is the one that I decided to use. But there are a bunch of different sticker pieces that you could have used to customize different license plates for this Ford Mustang. I just decided to use the two. Um, the GT1967 on both the front and the back. You could see that sticker sheet there though, I didn't have to use a whole lot of stickers. Uh, so all the pieces on here, all these are on the side. And on the pinstripe going from the front to the back is all a print piece. Uh, thank the Lord because I'm not the best at placing Lego stickers and if these were all Lego stickers, it wouldn't look nearly as good. So thank you for producing print pieces for this set, Lego, I really do appreciate that. 
Another moving piece here in this set is actually the front wheels. The front wheels will turn. And when I turn those front wheels, you'll see that the steering wheel is moving as well. So the steering wheel is connected to those front wheels. There's not space for uh, a gearbox or anything like that, like the big Technic vehicles, but uh, I think what it, for what it is, that was a really nice touch. And I, I, I do like how the steering wheel actually moves uh, the vehicle's front tires. So another movable piece here is the uh, the or the top here. The top of the vehicle will sort of come off. It's just held in by a couple different stud pieces. When I take this off, so this is sort of the roof here, you'll see a little sticker piece right here. That's actually the rear view mirror for the uh, for the vehicle. So it's uh, got a little sticker piece there to show that there's somebody in behind. So I like that. That's a really nice touch that uh, I would have never thought of as a designer. So looking in the interior here, you can see it's pretty basic. There's just uh, a couple of bucket seats there and then a back seat, so four seats total. Uh, really cool seat builds though. I, uh, I'm always impressed on how uh, these vehicles' um, seats uh, are constructed and sort of inserted into the vehicle. The uh, dash is pretty plain there. You just got a couple uh, speedometers. Uh, in the middle there, you got uh, a radio followed by a gearbox. The gearbox, once again, or the gear shifter does not uh, do anything. It's just there for show. These seats will fold forward, giving access or uh, so that uh, passengers can board the back seats. Looking at the back here, the uh, trunk does pop open. You can see another uh, GT uh, custom sticker piece there, and then uh, the build for the tail lights. Really impressive. When looking on the bottom of the of the vehicle, you can uh, you see there's a little piece right here. This will actually be the first uh, interchangeable part or uh, ways that you can customize this vehicle. So if you rotate this, those back tires will actually start to move down like that there. So this is the first way that you can customize this vehicle and sort of put it into a supercharged mode, which we will do right now. So another way of uh, sort of customizing this vehicle is with the motor, of course. So what you do is you just open up the hood and you can pop this hood scoop off and then take the motor head off here and then you can put this sort of custom uh, uh, supercharged motor head right here. So I believe it goes in the most forward position right on that Lego plate there. And then this hood should close down over top of it. So now it's in a supercharged sort of mode. You got the back tires raised up and you have the new supercharged motor head on there. Another way we can customize it is we can change out the exhaust. You can see the regular exhaust over here. So what you do is you take this new exhaust here, which is like uh, exhaust headers, and these should clip right onto the side. I believe right there, yeah. So there's one of them. And then these ones will just clip onto the other side here in the same way. There we go. So now we got sort of a a side exhaust for our supercharged Ford Mustang. There are a couple other ways to customize this. This is actually the first time I'm doing it. So there is a spoiler here that can be attached to the back. i actually not entirely sure how this goes on here. It looks like it might hook onto the, uh, the trunk piece like this here, I guess. Maybe that's right. I hope it's right. If not, oh well. And then this part here is to change the front end of the vehicle. So I believe that will just clip on like that. And it just sort of extends the front. So there we have the supercharged version of the uh, Ford Mustang here. Oh wait, we forgot. If you're about to drag race, there's one more thing you need for the hood of this vehicle, or sort of the back end of this vehicle. And that is the nitrous oxide. So the nitrous oxide tank right here can just be clipped into the trunk. It 
just like that there. So there we go. We've uh, customized this vehicle in uh, six different ways. We've added the new front end. We've added the supercharged motor head. We've added the spoiler. We raised up the back and we've added the nitrous oxide to the back of the vehicle. So we brought the Ford Mustang here into the Lego room. It now sits on the shelf right above my build table where we have all the Lego creator vehicles. When placing it with the other uh, sets of similar caliber, we noticed that the Ford Mustang, uh, for being a, a car, is actually a little bit larger than some of the other ones. It is larger than the Ferrari, and it is a little bit larger than the uh, Volkswagen Bug and the uh, Mini Cooper. But there we go, I'm pretty satisfied with this set was a really fun build and you can see I've left it in supercharged mode. That's really about it for today. Just wanted to uh, build this thing and uh, integrate it here into the Lego room. Thanks a lot for the view guys. We'll see you guys in the not so distant future. Have a great day. Bye for now.